What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Kaz at the Ball bringing you more infinite Majorade content and before we get into the video which is going to be covering Force Mark Tower, please make sure you click like, subscribe, comment below to help the channel grow, thank you very much. Now let's talk about Force Tower, so we're going to look at floor 19 where a lot of people get hard stuck uh, because the boss is annoying, the boss is annoying, uh, we're going to firstly look into that, this is my alt account just so you know, yes it does have quite a few on there but we're going to go through what this boss does first okay because this is important it's very important because he has a passive skill now whenever an ally takes active damage other allies restore their health by six percent of max health and increases the damage dealt by self by five percent when a turn ends now there is another factor here um excess flash is massive this is a massive skill okay when he gathers energy in the core and launches an attack that deals 400 percent attack damage to all enemies he revives all his allies now egal's attack increases by 20 percent permanently when reviving an ally all right that, that's a huge amount of attack now what this means what this means is on this stage on this stage and yes he does do aoe on another and um he uses a single target here and he's immune to control effects and 50 percent less turn meter reduction but what this means is we don't want to be using so much aoe we don't want to be killing his allies we want to tank them we want to just focus egal that is what's vital here it is vital um so let's just have a little look Let's have a little look, rip up these waves. I'm going to take it off of, oh, we've wasted our Valkyrie already. Okay, well, we're just going to nuke that wave with Lester. Lester, because he is a nuker. Um, and then we'll take out Margaritas and then, and then Walter, because I don't want to be taking too much uh, AoE damage. Uh, we'll save our abilities here. Um, and we'll just nuke Margarita with Zia. Um, and then target down these Walters. Yes, I am killing these quite easy. I guess I could have done this on stage 23 to show you the similar battle um, where I would struggle. But I just want to give you a representation of how this works. Now, obviously, there's his AoE. Now, be careful of um, Egil because he can snipe through shields. He has a nasty skill. He has a nasty skill. We can't see it from here. So again, he had. Oh, yeah, we can. We can see it. Sorry. Um, six hundred and forty percent attack damage to single enemy, and he deals extra damage of the target's max health. But there is. Is it this one here? Attack again. Attacks ignore the target's shield and deals thirty-two percent more damage to a target when they have a shield, which means we may not want to use a shielder such as Liz, but she is vital, like she is vital. Um, so you kind of have to, but you need another healer in here with her. Yes, okay, we have Luna. Um, we will go through a couple of other heroes that you can use in a moment, but it's very important just to focus down uh, the boss is so important just to focus on the boss it will mean that you're taking less damage from him so he can't nuke you if the battle's going on for a little bit um so you just target him to kill him that should help you uh clear him a bit easier because of that 20 percent increase each time he revives an ally which is 40 percent if they're both dead um so literally let these ads on the side do what they're doing and just just kill them after that's that's the best way to do this but you have to be able to tank their damage and that's hard with a girl when he's ignoring shields and you have liz as a healer so we'll have a look at a couple of other healers in a moment to see what you guys can use as well so we have the likes of um alahan who doesn't have a shield but he does equalize everyone's health um we have elena who does have a shield later on um she also causes speed down which means that the ads are not going to be attacking quite so often which is kind of nice there isn't really a lot else that we can uh these are all of what we can use i mean maybe even solly would help you survive some but yeah isara could help too with control yeah it's it's, it's tough it's tough they are tough but the main thing on floor 19 with Egea and Gustav with Egao is to focus just the boss, then kill the ads after. That's the simplest and most 
easiest way to clear it because otherwise the boss is going to be nuking. We can handle a bit of damage from a gear. We cannot handle a huge amount of damage from the boss, especially not AoE. Let's move on to stage 30 on the other account now. Now, this is crazy hard, okay? This is crazy hard. Um, Rinda launches an energy shout at a single enemy, dealing 250% attack damage. He also has a 250% attack damage to all enemies. He gains permanent stealth status, decreases 50% allies damage taken, increases 5% self damage dealt when the turn ends. Um, Excess slash Rinda gathers energy in the core and launches it in an attack. It deals 600% attack damage to a target, so it's a single target nuke. Increases self attack by 10% and revives all allies. Um, he's also immune to control effects and 75% less turn meter reduction effect. Now, the team I have been trying to use, and it may be more achievable with something else, I haven't come across it yet. This is the furthest I've gotten, is with Liz, Luna, Ockman, Malia, and Elena. This is the furthest I have gotten on floor 30, Force Mark Tower, with this team um we're going to go through the battle we're going to go through the battle itself you're going to see quite how hard it is um uh, you know we'll see what <laughs> what we can achieve we're going to turn off auto we're going to turn off auto we're going to slow the enemy with elena now here's where you need to decide like we have two health burners because i want to I want to take my time i want to take my time in killing the enemies so that it's up again on the next the next wave really so we can kill those down as well unfortunately my Aquin is not quite fully built he doesn't have a huge amount of effect it and i think that's where this team is currently slowing down where it's currently being slowed um we're going to save elena shield for next turn uh, next wave sorry and we're going to save Aquin's ultimate Okay, so on a note of wave two here, if you're using a laner, it's very important you wait for Holder to self buff his counter attack so that we can remove that from him. It's, that's really vital because that's going to hurt your team a huge amount if you're letting him do that. Um, making a laner really, really needed here. Really needed here. So we heal, cleanse, and remove that. I mean, we didn't need to, but I just wanted to show you that it's gone now. It's gone. We can remove that counter attack. It's not like it's stuck. Okay, so we're in to the boss wave again. We're into the boss wave again. It's just it's hard. It's tough. It's freaking tough. Must die. In fact, I think killing her too early is is a problem. I'm not going to I'm not going to buff my shield yet. I'm saving Liz's shield for the big hit from the boss. That's what I'm saving that shield for. He's already done it. Okay, so I've just come back to the boss again. I've started recording again. Um now I've got a feeling we're getting super close to this. Super close. Like super close. Um yeah. Now it's very important, it's very important to save your shield from Liz for this big, big, big nuke, which is coming next, it's coming next, so it's the next turn that that happens. Um, so now, also it's Serena casting that in, which is a problem, it's nasty. So the pairing Serena and then, to begin with, pairing that nuke and that nuke together is crazy. Now, I'm going to save the shield from from my elena unless it's three turns is it? you know it's, see it's four turns i'm not i'm not using it yet um it's more valuable to me saved now let's increase our turn meter and attack a moment and a slight heal there for that aoe now we're going to remove this, and this is why Elena is huge here, because we can remove all these buffs here. We can remove all these buffs, which is beautiful, Brian. It's beautiful, beautiful for Force Tower 30. Um, and now we can focus Serena here with uh, Melia, and we can uh, we refresh and it resisted. I need more of that on my goddamn Ockman. Okay, so we are 
in and we have a spare turn here to catch up so we're not going to use our shield just yet we use it on the next turn use it on the next turn oh Liz isn't available with her shield Liz is not available with her shield Can we catch up? So we need to shield now. Are we going to lap? We are going to lap, thanks to Luna there. Now, we don't need to use his ultimate at the moment. No, we need to use the shield because it's going to be a big nuke. Here it comes. Beautiful. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, our turn meters are looking low. Let's fully heal a moment. Uh, that may be an error on my part there. It may have been better to wait. Now, we can use the ultimate here. Let's just spread some more burns and health burn. It didn't do much. The resistance is huge here. It's just massive. Now, we need to save Elena again to reduce or oh, to remove the, the counter attack that's about to happen and consolidation in a moment. Um, let's resistance buff. Brock Valkyrie to try and kill off Catherine here. We have a little while before this happens. Um, again, we're waiting on that buff if it happens. Ouch. Next one is the big nuke, which means if that goes off in this state, we're dead. We are dead. You can see the damage. <sighs> all right, all right, that, that, that. This is false time mark 30, guys. I will do more testing. I will do more improvements. I will try and beat this. I'm Kyle at the ball. Thank you for watching. Take care.